Are you new to Vintage Story? Or just interested in learning a few tips and tricks? Then look no more, Vintage Store 1.19 can be a harsh environment for new players, so I've made a top 10 tips for beginners. Let's, Let's get, get started. started! Number 1. Tools As you begin, the first thing you'll need are tools. Be on the lookout for stones or flint. Mind you, not all stones will work for this. When you have two or more, shift right click while holding a stone to put one down. Then select the tool you want to make. From there, you can just remove the bits. To speed things up, just snap the contour of the tool and the rest will automatically remove. Find some sticks and put them below the tool parts you've napped. To begin with, you should make yourself a knife, a shovel, an axe, and a spear. Number two, food. Food will be the most urgent matter. You can find wild berries, mushrooms, and even reed stems pretty much everywhere. Some of them will require a knife to collect, and some will need to be cooked. Cut a piece of grass, and use your axe to cut down a tree. In your crafting menu, combine the wood with the axe to make logs. Set down your grass by holding shift right click, and right click the logs onto the fire. Then with sticks and grass, you can easily make a fire starter. While holding it, shift right click on the fire until the fire is ignited. Then you can start cooking the mushrooms and reed stems. Careful, some of the mushrooms come with negative effects. Number 3. Reed Baskets and Chests When you start, you barely have any inventory space. To get more, you can craft reed baskets from the reed you've probably collected when collecting reed stems. Put them in this formation and then slide the basket to the right of your hotbar. You can hold up to 4 basket at a time. With the reed, you can also make reed chests. With this, you can store all your goods in it for later use. You can pick it up and set it back down again by holding shift right click. Number 4. Build a Hut Before night comes, it's important to find a place to set up camp. The fastest way is to collect dirt and make a hut out of it. This way, you'll have a place to come back to and hide when it gets dark. Eventually, you'll be able to get more resources and build a real home. Number 5. Torches Night in Vintage Story is dark. Very dark. That's why it's important to make yourself a torch early on. Using grass and sticks, you can easily make some. Light them with the fire starter and you have yourself a source of light. Note that if you fall in water, it will be extinguished. As long as you hold your torch in your hand, it will last forever. If you put it on the wall, eventually it'll burn out and will not be usable anymore. Number 6. Panning When there's nothing to do, there's a great way to spend time. Using a knife and a wood log, you can make a pan. Panning is a great way of getting resources at the beginning. You can do it on sand, gravel, or bony soil. Standing in water, right-click on the block while holding your pan, then hold shift right click to stir the pan. When you get an item, you'll see your basket shiver. Just look at what I got from panning these three blocks. Number 7. Pit Kiln One of the most important resources you'll find in Vintage Story is clay. If you find some, make sure to grab at least a stack so you can start making all sorts of useful things such as storage vessels, molds, crucible, and much more. To begin with, I would recommend a cooking pot and a bowl. Look on the ground and shift right click when holding clay. Remove and fill in the voxels layer by layer using the left and right click button. You can also adjust the options by pressing F. Once they are done, grab them and put them in the hole in the ground. Then fill it with 12 grass, 8 sticks, and 4 logs or peat. Make sure it's surrounded by either packed dirt or stones. Otherwise, the grass around it could catch fire and cause disaster. Now light the pit kiln and let it cook the clay for a few in-game hours. Number 8. Better Meals Now that you have your cooking pot, you can make some hearthy meals. Meals fill up your hunger bar more and actually stops your hunger bar for a few minutes before it starts draining again. Putting your cooking pot in a fire and putting the same amount of food in all slots, you can cook a wide variety of meals. It also comes with a very satisfying cooking sound. You can make soup, porridge, meat stew, and all sorts of delicious meals. When it's ready, with bowl in hand, right-click on the cooking pot and bon appetit! Number 9. Map Markers 
While exploring, you'll find all sorts of interesting things such as ruins, traders, bees, ores, and more. Like over here, you can see a few copper nuggets lying on the ground. We can pick that up, but make sure to mark it on the map. Right click at the location you want to mark, select an icon, edit the text, and select a color. Because even if you pick up the copper on the surface, there's always more just below that you can come back to collect when you have a pickaxe. Number 10. Watch out for foes. One of the greatest threats you'll see in vintage stories are the drifters. Rifts will open around the world and drifters will come pouring through, especially at night. In the early stages of the game, you might want to hide in your hut until the night is over. The other threats are mostly in the forest area. Wolves and bear roam there and are deadly adversaries. If you hear growling, run in the opposite direction as fast as you can, because without armor, you are just a walking meal to them. Well, that concludes my video for my top 10 tips for beginners in Vintage Story. I really hope this helps you survive on the beginning of your journey. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below, and don't forget to nudge that little like button. And until next time, take care and stay safe. Raccoon out.